Hi everybody, thanks again for coming back to OneMinuteDigital.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, nautical star, as they call it. You see it a lot in tattoo design and the Sailor Jerry stuff, and a lot of retro design. Um, it's very, very simple to do in Illustrator, and I'm going to show you how. So, the first thing that you want to do, I'm going to move that out of the way, is I don't work with these normally uh, when I'm designing an Illustrator, but when you're making shapes like this, you need to go up to View and turn on your Smart Guides. They get in the way normally when you're designing, but when you're making shapes like this, you need to make sure everything is centered, and uh, this is the best way to do it. It's really going to help you. Okay, so the next thing you do after you turn on your Smart Guides is go and find your Rectangle Tool, click and hold, and select the Star Tool. Now holding down Shift, click and drag, and make a nice big star shape. And we're just going to want to make that a stroke with no fill. So now we just have the outline of the star. Now on your toolbar again, find your line segment tool and with the star selected you see all these green lines come up they're just helping you navigate we're going to click first starting at that top anchor point of the star hover over it till you see the word anchor hold down shift click and drag until you meet the other anchor and they'll tell you right there and let go then we're going to connect all of these points and the indents together so that was your first one now let's go to this one where and hover over it till you see the word anchor and click and drag to that bottom point until you see the word anchor. Next one is this one here. Hover over to see anchor. Click and drag to you see the word anchor. Next is this point. Hover over that. Click and drag until you see the word anchor and let go. Next point is here. Click when you see the word anchor and drag up there to its opposite and let go. And now, if you look at it, we have our basic outline of our nautical star. It was that easy. Now, select everything, and on your toolbar, you're going to have to look for it, but you need to find the Live Paint Bucket Tool. And I believe it defaults to the Shape Builder Tool, but find the Live Paint Bucket Tool. Pick a color. We're going to pick a red for this. Okay. And when you hover over it, you'll see you have is click to make a Live Paint Group. So we're going to start with this, uh, the top point on the right side. Just click there, and it fills it with red. Now just skip and fill in every other one. Skip this one, fill in this one. Skip, fill, skip, fill, skip, fill. And there we go. Our pinwheel shape is already taking shape. Now we're going to make the other ones black. So over here, just switch your colors. Pick your fill color to black, and fill in the other ones. Fill, skip, fill, skip, fill, skip, fill, skip, fill. And there you go. There's your nautical star. If you want to give them, right now they have a black stroke, I believe. You can give it a white stroke if you want by double clicking on that stroke and changing it to white. If you go to window stroke and you get your stroke palette, you can make that a thick stroke. I don't really like that personally. I think it looks better without a stroke, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And there we go. There is our nautical star. And very stylized and very cool. So thanks again for watching OneMinuteDigital.com and until next time, bye bye.